everybody, this is Rosalind Khan from Chow Entertainment. It's my pleasure and honor. I just listened to these beautiful musicians play some wonderful music from Egypt. And as having returned from Egypt at the end of August, interviewing a diplomat, seeing these highlight wonderful people from Egypt, I said I had to speak with them. And I'm sorry we have to leave and miss some entertainment from inside, but all three of them are on their way out the door. And so they bestowed me a few minutes. So please introduce yourself. My name is Benjamin Aziz Benjamin. I'm the international curator of the beautiful country Egypt. Fantastic, and you are? My name is uh, Adel Iskander, the master of uh, Orchestra Layali Zaman Academy. Fantastic, and you are? My name is Gemel Goma. I am the drummer of the Orchestra Layali Zaman, and I've been uh, playing music almost like 35 years. Fantastic. So when you were up here singing, to, when you were up here performing today, what was the message that you felt in your heart as you were performing for these people from all around the world? What were you thinking? I think about everybody. How do you feel about the music? How do you feel about uh, Dr. Rombe Agilini for his art and for his all his energy, he traveled all over the world. And I see everybody listening to our music. And the whole of the host is relaxing and they are happy and very excited. Fantastic. And what was your thoughts as you were playing that music? I play uh, uh, Oriental music, Egyptian music, two, two pieces. Yes, two pieces of Egyptian uh, uh, tradition, classic music. And uh, it's like why uh, our music as, as an Egyptian, it's known all over the whole Middle East for uh, the uh, biggest star singer, uh, Omu Kulsum, Abdel Wahab, and uh, everybody was enjoying it inside. Wow, it, it surely was beautiful. And I, I jumped out of my street because I too was in Egypt. I was in Luxor and I was in Khorgada. And it was a very beautiful short journey, but if you'd seen me at Halloween, I'll have to share the pictures I took of Egypt because they are beautiful. <laughs> but if there's one word or one last message you'd like to share with the audience that maybe they don't know about you, what is your one message you'd like to share to the world? To be in peace, helping each other, and to be one unity. Oh, that is lovely. And yours? Yeah, peace. I wish everybody to go to visit the most beautiful country, uh, Egypt, and see the history and see the, uh, especially when, uh, when we talk about music, uh, we go all the way thousands of years ago. So to have experience, just go ahead and visit Egypt. Wow. Thank you. That is so true. Many years ago, I traveled in a group called Up With People. It was a group whose purpose was to bring peace to the world. Many years yes. ago, I had a life coach and he said, what is the one most important thing you want in the world? And it is peace. So every yes. time I have the opportunity to meet with people who share that dream, I figured that we are aligned and joined together. So my show airs every Tuesday here in Los Angeles on KXLA Chow Entertainment. You can find that on your cable provider. We're also out of Las Vegas, which is KGNG. It's 8 p.m. nightly. We are on Roku TV and Amazon Fire. And the station I'm talking about is number 14 in the Los Angeles market. So network television, Rosalind Khan, please follow me and tell us how can we follow each of you? Where can we follow you on social media? Oh, in the social media, just uh, for Layali Zaban. Okay, spell it out for it. Okay, L-A-Y-A-L-I Zaman, Z-A-M-A-N. Okay, and, and that's under Maestro Adel Skandar and the player Mr. Gamal Goma. And okay. we have a lot of people. Yes. Wow. Sure. Yes. And the, the date that this is going to be happening is December 20th? Yes. No, Decem no, 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 Decem December, December 11th, 2022 at the Saban Theater. Yes. And um, you can reach out to them and they'll tell you how to get those tickets. For sure. Definitely. Gratitude beyond words. Ticket, Thank ticket you so master. much. Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster. Yes. Fantastic. And as they say, Salam. Salam. There we go. Thank yeah, you. Thank Hello, everybody. My name is Rosalind Khan. I'm with the Chow Entertainment. I'm here with this beautiful, lovely Shevin Roberts. Wow. Thank you. So, Shevin, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, I'm an independent recording artist, and I've been making records for years, but I recently rebranded myself, and I have a new record coming out on 
Tuesday, um, so November 1st, everywhere music is sold online. You can look for me, Shevin Roberts. That's Shevin, S-H-E-V-Y-N, Roberts. And my music is pop in nature, but it's also kind of dance and EDM. And then I also do acting, so I'm actually here with my producer friend, Nancy, and I'm starring as the lead role in one of her upcoming films, and I have a few other films I'm slated for. So, um, really just an all-around entertainer. <laughs> cool. Now, you had performed for some famous people, I heard. Yes, uh, I did open up for Justin Bieber, and that show I'm kind of known for, and I've won some uh, music awards. I haven't won a Grammy yet, but that's the goal. I have won um, Best Pop Song at the Hollywood Music and Media Awards, so it's been, uh, it's been a fun journey. Wow, could you sing us a little tune of that song that you think is, is especially special? Um, which song? I don't know, you said there's one that's up for a Grammy or something like that, I heard you say. Oh no, I said I wanted to, I want to be up for a Grammy, but... Okay, um, so which, which song would you like to take it there? Um, I am so tired right now. I don't really want to sing. I want people to go and stream the, the music online and... Um, when I actually um, feel like performing, I will sing live like on Instagram or YouTube when I feel like I'm not as raspy and tired no, as I am right now. No, it's, it's perfectly okay. Well, you're but, just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I can see you. why you got to be on Justin Bieber's show. Oh, that's, that's, that's amazing. I mean, <laughs> must have you. been your bubbly personality. Well, how can people follow you? Um, you can go to Shevin Roberts on Instagram. It's at Shevin Roberts. It's the one that has almost 100,000 followers, so you'll know it's the right one. Um, also on Facebook, it's Shevin Roberts, and then I also have Shevin Roberts Music Facebook, as well as uh, The Real Shevin on YouTube, and then TikTok is Shevin Roberts 17, Shevin Roberts 17. So if y'all want to keep up with me, I am crazy. So well, there you go. My grandmother had Alzheimer's, and I remember we were all in the hospital room, and for like 10 seconds, she recognized who we were and then it was gone. So it's like a thief, it's taking away memories and um, who you are as a person. Over five and a half million Americans have Alzheimer's. That number may double by 2050. For more information, visit rightfocus.org. Senior Care Authority is a one-stop solution for helping you locate senior living options. We understand the care, the cost, and the safety records of hundreds of communities, from assisted living and memory care to independent living and even skilled nursing. We help families cut through the complexity to make courageous, informed decisions under difficult circumstances. Good afternoon. We got some beautiful music from this wonderful thing in the background, but that's going to not stop us from talking to the one, the only, the beautiful Nancy Hawthorne. So Nancy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, I'd be glad to. Uh, well, I am a writer, I'm a director and a producer, and I have a couple projects right now I'm working on. I just got through finishing a documentary on drum circles. I'm very excited about that, uh, but I'm also working on a couple films. I'm working on Don't Be Here After Dark, which is based on the history of Nelson, Nevada and an Indian serial killer and we're, we're loosely take that and we have the, the fake descendants basically killing people for their classic cars and it's a great uh, what I call harmony which means it's comedy and horror so you'll be laughing until you're screaming <laughs> wow now where'd you come up with these crazy ideas from well actually you know I went out to Nelson for another movie and I looked around, and it kind of was getting dark. I said, wow, there's hundreds of old classic cars out there. And I said, what if, what if somebody's killing people to get these classic cars? And that's how I came up with the uh, idea. I bought a book on the history, and I learned a little bit more about the area. And so I wrote it uh, based on a little bit of truth, and the rest is all fiction. So. Wow. That just sounds beautiful. You sound like such a talented person. It just sounds amazing. Well, thank was, you. What, was your parents have a lot of creativity in them? Actually, uh, my dad was very smart, and he re-engineered the rocket jet, so we went to the moon. His name's on some plaque on the moon. My grandmother was a artist, uh, and she won a lot of awards, so I get a lot of creativity. 
in the family, and my parents always encouraged that type of stuff. So I was very good at writing. I write song lyrics, and it just took uh, the chance of starting writing movies because you, a song is a very short, short story, and a movie is just a little bit longer of a short movie. So I figure we all dream every night, so we're all writing our own movies every single night. So. You know, I'm excited about doing that. I have another uh, movie called Hurricane Zombie, and right now I'm working on my uh, newest script, which is called Drum Circle Massacre. I know that. Oh, wow. That's not wild. Well, we can hardly wait to hear about that, but why don't you tell us where people can follow you? Uh, well, you can follow me on, in, on Facebook uh, with Nancy Hawthorne and uh, Instagram. That's so. fantastic. My name is Ross. This is Chow Entertainment. Pleasure. It's been my pleasure and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Gratitude beyond words. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is Rosalind Khan from Chow Entertainment. This is the lovely Jeannie. I remember you. You were the lady who got up and complimented the person on the wonderful dancing. Do you have do you have an interest in dancing or do you did you used to teach dance or no, I work in Bollywood movies. I work with very famous uh, people over there. Uh, I know how they make the movies, but, and their dance is not in one stretch. They make cut and paste, cut and put, they do again and again, cut and cut and paste, you know, and they make the whole, uh, but this girl danced the whole dance on one stretch. Wow. So I was so surprised and so happy and I really appreciate I came here. Uh, Olympia Jalini is my our family friend from last 15 years. Oh, and beautiful. Yes, he has a very good heart. He, I wish him all the luck, all the blessing to uh, have successful in his uh, whatever he is doing, Olympia Award, that he's uniting all over the world together. Right. And this is going to be the best thing ever. Oh, yes. that sounds because good. Because uh, Bollywood have their awards and uh, Hollywoods have their awards, you know, like Oscars and Grammys. Right, and right, right. But this is going to be the international part. Amazing. Oh. He has a good thought and I'm very proud of him. Oh, that is fantastic. Now, how can people follow you and stay in contact with you? Do you oh, have a, 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 yeah, a, I have a YouTube channel, okay. Jeannie Singh, Dear Pray with Jeannie. Good. Yes. So uh, they, they can watch uh, and they can ask me questions there if they, whatever they like my content. Well, that is fantastic. Yes, well, yes. I really appreciate you standing up because it's one thing to dance, it's another thing to have praise that's that's that not asked for but just coming from the heart. <laughs> yes, I was so excited and I, you know, the, I was the audience and wanted to compliment, I wanted to just say, so beautiful she had done. I never saw a dance like that. Oh, well, it was it was just beautiful. I was just sitting there and there was people in the way that I couldn't get the camera to do what I wanted to do, so I took that random shot here, the random shot there to just get the sense of what it's all about. But that's why you have a team, so they can fill in for the parts that you have it. Yeah. But it's been wonderful talking. It's been a, a late evening. And I've got to be running along. But we will stay in touch, all right, Jeannie? Sure, sure. Thank you so much. God Gratitude beyond words. Thank you. Thank Take you. care. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Rosalyn Khan from Chow Entertainment. And I'm speaking to Dre here. Dre has many things in the world. And he was dying to tell us what he thought about this Jalini Award event here. So, Dr. Jalini, this is a great concept. His concept is very good to bring the unity of the world. Respecting the, all the artistic talents around the world and giving awards to them can bring the unity of the world. We cannot divide the people because of their culture of this. We have to bring every human life together. This is a great concept to bring human life, all human life together and respecting their talents and giving awards to them. So I think we mostly need this kind of concept to bring the peace and happiness around the world by respecting the talents of the people, artistic talents of the people. Because people are so close to art, uh, so close to artistic talents. So we have to respect the talents of every human life.
artistic talents that can bring unity of the world and the peace of the world. Wow, that is such an, an important message. I hear a lot of background noise and I don't want it to be lost in your message. So Jay, how can people follow you? What do they need to do to stay in contact with you? Do you have a phone number or do you have a social media place that they can go to? I do have Facebook, my okay. Facebook, and I also I'm on the Zoom. Zoom. Okay. So, so Jay, what's your last name so people can follow you? Somarapta. S O M A R A T N E. My last name is Somarapta. I'm from Sri Lanka. My father was a politician. He was the vice president of Sri Lanka Senate and a film producer and a lawyer. Wow. And then my brother. Was a law. He's a lawyer. He was a politician. He gave up politics, and he's a lawyer. He's a shipping lawyer in Sri Lanka. Sounds like a very respectable family. I'm so grateful that we were able to take a couple moments out as this night comes to an end. But I'm so glad I was able to talk to you, Jay. Such a heartwarming message about the things we need in our world today. My name is Rosalind Khan. I'm with Chow Entertainment, living your best life. And I know that this is just the first of many conversations. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Again, welcome to the Oakland Aviation Museum. This is a special museum for aircraft, historic GA, general aviation, and World War II airplanes here at the Oakland Airport. As you can see, it's now open seven days a week for the summer. And I wanted to show you around. This is an indoor and outdoor museum. This is the outdoor area. Over there, we have a flying boat. There's not too many of those left. Here you can see the Douglas KA-3B Sky Warrior. Really cool. Let me take you inside the hangar. I'd like to show you around a little bit inside this hangar that is home to so many wonderful planes. This here is a favorite of most people. It's a P-51 Mustang. Of red and blue. You can read up on it. You see the helicopter back there. It's always great to look at all the historic aircraft that you can't see in too many places. I'll just take you through this hangar right here. This is an Aranda. A lot of people got their start or had their first flight in this plane. Now we use more Cessnas. Here. And this is just a great place to come and visit to bring your family. As you can see, the ground is like a little runway. Got the Kitty Hawk corporate. And of course, that's the Wright Brothers. That's the Wright Brothers plane. There's always exhibits in here. We have some engines. And this is the gift shop where you can get all of your favorite aviation goods. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon. Hi, this is Rosalyn Khan with Chow Entertainment. I'm here with the beautiful Centuri at this wonderful event for launching of, take it away, baby, Senor Pavel Jalini's launch of the world. Go ahead. Yes, let's go. Hi. Hi. Namaste. It's our Indian tradition. Namaste is how you say hi, how do you do? Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, go ahead. So, tell us, what were you doing here today? Oh, today I was uh, invited by Dr. Olympia. And uh, today is a day where the different countries have come to share their uh, culture. So, I'm so excited, happy, and proud to share our Indian culture. So I presented the Indian classical dance where my daughter, my student, today my daughter performed Bharatanat, Kuchipudi and Kathak style and Bollywood. Wow, that just sounds incredible. Now I, I heard a lady who was in the audience gave the, the most beautiful phrase and she says she's seen the, the dancing from your area, and I'll, I'll get the name wrong because I'm tired too. And she said it was actually far better than what you see in the in the in the Bali dance. Thank you. Which is the highest compliment that you can give. Now, I want to know, as a mother and a teacher, they often say kids don't like to listen to their mother. So, how did you get your daughter to listen to your oh. advice when she was a youngster? How did what, what, what was the what was the trick? Oh, you ask about it. 
it's very difficult to teach your own child. I run a dance academy here, Savitri Arts Academy. This year I celebrated 25th year Silver Jubilee. So for the past 25 years, I'm spreading our Indian culture and uh, exchanging with uh, non-Indians. Then uh, I help the community. Then my daughter, like uh, she's from the age of one, she's performing and her viral, her dance went viral in uh, YouTube where she got more than 23 million views. Wow, 23 yes, million me, views. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah. So what's next for you? So you asked me how I um, teach her. That's really difficult, I'll tell you. I, I, I think every mom, they can understand my difficulty. It's very difficult to teach your own child. But I didn't give up I, because my child, with the God's blessing, she's a talented girl. So every mom have to really recognize what the child with uh, talents and give them a push. Then you know, you, you'll enjoy and you'll be very proud of them. Wow, that is beautiful. Now how can people follow you? How can people follow you? How, how... Do you have a social media? Oh yeah, yeah, I have. And then I, I'm in the Facebook, Sindhuri Jai Singer. Okay. Yes, so, uh, and my... Then the Facebook Savitri Arts Academy. Spell that for us. Savitri, S A V I T H, Savitri, R I, Savitri, S A V I T H R I, Savitri Arts Academy. Wow, that sounds beautiful. My name is Rosalind Conrad from Chow Entertainment, and someday you're going to teach me some of those dance steps so I can do it that way. Wow. Right now, I can teach you one thing. In a dance form, when you want to express that I love my husband, just show like this hand gesture for a husband. Say, I love my husband. Wow. So this is like a facial expression. It's like a dance form. You're expressing how much you love your husband. I'll have to practice that many times. So yeah. we appreciate that. Oh, thank you so much. And I always learn the words, Namaste from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, as uh, as for me, I'm uh, dancing from the age of three. I've done more than 2,500 dance performances around the world. That is fantastic. Yeah. People keep Thank in you. touch. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank Take you. care. Please. Students learn the concepts and theories in the lecture class, but they get to apply that directly into community service needs. The center offers most comprehensive rehabilitation exercise program, including aquatic and land-based therapeutic exercise. Most of the common things that I heard, is it's been a life-changing experience, taking class in the center, learning how to use their knowledge to help people in need, and getting to apply that directly to community service needs. It has been a life-changing experience for many of our former students, and it helped them facilitate their professional pursuit and development. The majority of our students are interested in using their education and training to help people. That's why I'm inspired by my own students, because I didn't have that maturity when I was in college. Donation to our center has been incredibly helpful for us to provide high quality service program, as well as training our students. We have a multiple scholarship set up by donors, uh, helping our graduate students pursue their research and next stage in their career. Thanks to donation from alumni, community members, and partners, Center will be able to continue delivering our top quality community service program for people with disability while training our students for future health and rehab professionals. Sugar Skulls from Ensenada, Baja California, they're actually made with a seasoning called Ajun What does that translate to in English? So it's just, you know, the, the type of texture, it's instead of made with sugar, it's actually made with uh, like bird seeds. Oh, can you pull it out for me so I can see it? Wow, that's what made it unique and different. That is beautiful. That is amazing. So we 
brought a little part of it, a little bit of something different. You know? uh -huh. And then we also have the regular sugar cane, sugar spice. Wow, that is cool. That is cool. Yeah. My grandmother had Alzheimer's and I remember we were all in the hospital room and for like 10 seconds she recognized who we were and then it was gone. So it's like a thief, it's taking away memories and um, who you are as a person. Over five and a half million Americans have Alzheimer's. That number may double by 2050. Is a fine a lady that right next to me. Give it up for the beautiful. We we'll let her talk. We we'll let her talk. Let's give a big round of applause for Rosalind Kahn. Yay! Thank you. Well, thank you. It's truly an honor and privilege to be here tonight. I want to thank a few of my sponsors who came out here tonight. I'd really like to thank a good friend of mine is Remax, Miss Kathleen Chan. Uh, she and I go back many, many years ago from an organization called Toastmasters. You want to improve your skills in speaking, you too want to join Toastmasters. Secondly, I want to thank Hollywood Senior Care Living. They loved it so much. They said, when is the next one? We want to be a part of it. Thank you so much. Someone near and dear to my heart is the people from Van Nuys Behavioral Health Center. Do you know someone who is facing depression, who is suicidal, who is having problems managing their emotion? There are a lot of people in our world that need that help. You want to visit the people back at the table, Van Nuys Behavioral Health Center. Now, for some fun and some festivities, outside there's a beautiful guy by the name of Mike Carmody. One of my neighbors I found walking the dog said, I'm an artist. Can I come and do shirts? You want to get his personalized shirts at a price you can afford. Next, if you are hungry, you probably had the fine tasting Bella Luna pizza. Let's give it up for the Bella Luna pizza. Wow, amazing. Now, there was a gentleman here before. He was a spin cam. I'm sure he'll be coming back because he's going to be here. And lastly, there was Percy and Personal Alok Bora Vasquez. If you know me, I like to thank people who made it possible. There's one person I want to thank from the bottom of my heart, and that is Miss Lisa Pacheco Child. Thank you, Lisa, for giving me this opportunity to have my show and bring life and love to the world. If you want to see a great show, my show is called Living Your Best Life every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Nurse Access Staffing is seeking experienced RN and LVNs. For more information, call us at 818-697-4484 or check us out on our website, nurseaccessstaffing.com.